Hello everyone, this is with Style, and today I will break down the gold analysis for next week using the four hour. Now uh, I'm gonna do a little bit uh, uh, detailed one, so stay focused. Now going back to uh, the gold, what we had over here, we had the supply originated this is the first supply that was uh, originated uh, on the 17th last month or uh, the previous month on uh, april and then after that we had a strong move then we sort of rest of april we sort of consolidate in a downward channel right over here and then we break out of that channel, pulled back, created a uh, low or strong low, and also uh, retested the channel, and then we moved up. But what you had up here is the supply being broken, closed above. But after that, we closed back inside that supply. Okay, now once you once you close back inside the supply over here, as you can see, over here, now we have created a new supply. Now this one is no more valid, right? Okay, now we had this supply that was broken, but if you consider this supply as well, so you will see this one as a false breakout, right? Because the the candles closed above the supply and the next candle rejected that move and next candle also continues. Then we had this, uh, what we call as a trap, which is the one candle move, which is not supposed to be, uh, let's say, uh, happening, but since that is uh, something uh, gold does all the time, which is a one candle move from, let's say, uh, from uh, support all the way to resistance, but not closing above that, as well as wicking that uh, rejection area and then build up immediately and then sold off this is not strange why because if you if you uh, just notice that this move over here is exactly the same as this move over here right so there is nothing is changing over here we are just creating a supply in a, on a higher time frame so supply formation is something like this which you have a high and then a lower high and then you have a breakout or what you see is something like this, which is a false break above the original supply and then creating a new supply, which is a stronger one and then sold off. And this is exactly what happens over here. So what I am expecting next week for the prices to retest this let's say uh, a neckline or a support or structure point around 230 and then sold off all the way even taking that i mean price uh, could dip all the way up to this level because this is the original uh, this is the original demand for price which is around here right so if you mark up the highs and the lows. So I'm expecting Bryce next week to retest 230 and then head back all the way to 1970 or 1960, somewhere here. So this is my expectations of next week. I hope uh, this helps you make a better decision uh, in trading. 
and stay safe take care and see you inshallah next week